You know, there's nothing like having a nice fire in the fireplace on a cold night. Ah, uh, that's better. My name's Jim, and I'm gonna show you a new product that actually allows people to help fight against climate change while enjoying a nice fire in their fireplace at home. It's easy and it's fun to use, so come along with me. I'm gonna show you what we mean when we say, let your fireplace go green tonight. So this is the BioCharlie Biochar Making Log. It's about the size of a log and it fits in your fireplace with the other logs. You put various types of biomass, wood materials into the container and when it burns, whatever's inside the container turns into pure black biochar instead of turning to ash like the rest of the logs in your fire. Now, if you don't know what biochar is, it's very simple. It's charcoal, except you're not using it as a fuel, you're using it as a soil enhancement. It's really the easiest way to make biochar, hands down. Kindling wood makes for excellent biochar, as you can see we're loading that into the container now. We encourage the use of any kind of long waste or maybe some scrap wood you have taking up space in your garage. Here we're loading some wood chips into the container. A lot of people like to use deadfall sticks and branches laying around in their property. Why not make them into biochar instead of having them taken to fill up the local landfill? Even household wastes like cardboard can easily be transformed into biochar. Another thing that we highly recommend is using wood pellets. They can be purchased at the local hardware store very inexpensively. Once loaded, simply put it into your fireplace with your other logs and start your fire. And now it's time for the best part. It's time to sit back, relax, enjoy your fire, and let your bio Charlie work its magic. Don't forget that this container gets as hot as the fire and cannot be removed until the next morning when you're sure that it's cold. Now you can simply remove the biochar,ly and see what you've created. And this is what will be coming out of your biochar,ly pure black biochar. Check out the microscopic view showing all the honeycombs of nooks and crannies. There's a couple things to do to condition your biochar before putting it into your soil. There are several different ways to crush up the biochar into smaller pieces. Probably the easiest way is to put it into a bucket, take your garden hose and hose it down a little so it doesn't get all dusty, and then use a two by four or a flat bladed shovel to chop it up into finer granules. Before putting the raw biochar into your soil with plantings, you need to charge it up and let it absorb nutrients. A good way to do this is to put it into your composter. Let it charge up for several weeks before adding it to your soil. So there's really four basic reasons to make biochar. Okay, first and foremost, it's a way to sequester carbon dioxide. It's a way to take carbon, put it in a very stable state, and lock it up into the ground where it's not gonna get back into the atmosphere. Secondly, it holds on to water. It pulls in water like a sponge. When you have all these drought-stricken areas, it's very good to be used with plantings to keep them more drought-resistant, less watering, less hoping for rain to come down. Thirdly, biochar holds on to nutrients. You don't have to apply as much fertilizer as you used to. That fertilizer used to wash away very quickly. Biochar grabs onto the nutrients, holds them, and makes them available for your plants. And lastly, uh, the biochar has a way of helping microorganisms and encourages more microbial activity within the soil. Another great aspect for the health of your soil 
and the health of any plants therein.